I know the details. Hold on, I'm like an elephant. I can remember things. Don't count. No, we went to the Tudor, didn't we? So I had been with my mates. My mate was texting a lass, and he was like, "Oh, I'm just up texting some bird doing the Tudor Rose. We can't do in there." So I was just like, "I have." So I'll just. There was a kind of few like, "So I have it. We can't do." And we got there. We were standing at Biagon. It was a nice night, darling. Uh, it was, it was lush. And I had went out for a random night with my sister and our friend. Aye. Oh, it was my sister. I was like, there's a rock band on, you'll love it. I see, so you randomly oh, went out on, and yeah. I randomly went out and yeah. And then like, we, we got there and then we're sitting outside, but you weren't at the table, I wasn't you? at the table, I was at the loo. Uh, and went get myself another drink. And I came back and this mug was sitting in my seat. Claimed he'd seen us leave, apparently. I did. And he was saving me seat. So you got ushered along, eh? Uh, what you were doing in my chair? Huh? Aye. Roof, please. Aye, Uh-huh. And then, uh, so I sat down and I was just like, a bit like, oh my God, what is this? What am I doing? Because the crap was flowing, wasn't it? Because the crap was flowing and it was she got drunk. The phone, the phone, the phone, oh, back, I got the phone, I'd had a few beers, like, so she was getting heavily on slaughter, weren't you? Mm -hmm. And he had a puffer jacket on and he'd said it was in his pat iron, he's going, ah, time is a fan time, read, because uh, if the time floods, I've got you on my flotation device. I, daft little puffer jacket I can't on. remember saying that, but that's oh, definitely something yeah. I would have said. Like. It was definitely what you said, and we ended up sharing a cider. Uh, aye. And then we started talking about mice. I don't even know how. Um, and Craig is still, to this day, convinced that mice like cheese, and I said they like chocolate, and so the conversation was had. And then... Well, Tom and Jerry, they like cheese. Well, uh -huh. what we went in Tom and Jerry, we were talking about real life stuff. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and then we just kind of, the night came to an end, didn't it? Because I think the bell had rang and we'd been talking for hours and we didn't realise. And uh, we are walking along and he was like, how are you? Give us your number. And I was like, right, OK, I'll give you my number. OK, I'll take a little chance. Had never took a chance before. Gave him my number. And he was like, where do you live? And I was like, oh, I live in the penthouse suite in the rocket. And he just went, <gasps> I That's that. my crack! I just and then that, that was everybody. it. Everybody. And then I that was it. Everyone, you know. It was like a done deal after that. It was to be fair, because no one else, right, ever said that. Pop on me. <laughs> and when you said that, I was like, no, oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and that was when the rocket was still the rocket. And the rocket was still there. And it was still in all its glory, and there was people still living in it and shouting no, out the well, windows. So that was it. And then is. I went my separate way, and then oh, Craig yeah. went his. And so a raver met a raver and a chav. Met a rock chick. Aye. That's how the story goes, That's isn't it? Goes, is it? Aye. That's it. <laughs> registration service and the management staff here at Le Petit Chateau. I'd like to welcome you all to celebrate the marriage of Craig and Natalie. My name is Suzanne Malfi and I have the lovely job today of conducting your ceremony. Now I understand today everybody's fairly local so I cannot lie and say the weather's always like this in Northumberland but we have been given a truly special day. It is gorgeous outside so please do enjoy yourselves while you're here. Craig and Natalie have found a deep and an abiding affection a magical and a compelling shared impulse that makes them seek each other's company and that is amongst the greatest gifts of the human experience. Anyone out there today who has been fortunate enough to find and express the type of love and devotion that we are here to witness knows what a truly amazing thing that is. That is why you are all here today to celebrate that amazing thing and to make sure that Craig and Natalie have the day they have always dreamed of and one that they can look back on with much love 
and happy memories. Natalie, from this day forward, I promise to share my life with you, to laugh with you, to be proud of you, to never take you for granted, always take care of you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> never take you for granted, always take care of you and be faithful to you. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. Craig, they say you marry your best friend the one you can truly be yourself with. The one that makes you better, pushes you to be the best version of yourself and loves you unconditionally. And that person for me is you. You make me laugh, even when I think I can't possibly laugh anymore. You are just as much of a big divvy as I am. You don't take life seriously, and I love how we don't do serious together. I love how we can just be ourselves with each other. You are the best father to our three beautiful children. Your dad would be so proud. Thank you for being the best partner in crime anyone could ever ask for. You pulled me through one of the worst times of my life, and for that I will be forever grateful. I know Dave the Rave is looking down on me today, smiling and saying, he's a good lad. You have loved me at my worst, and you have loved me as equally at my best but I know our best is still yet to come. My promise to you today is that there is no promise. Our life will continue to be wild and wacky, more spontaneous, full of so much more love and belly aching laughter and filled with even more stupidly daft crack that the kids will end up more sick of us. You are the Edward to my Bella, Lucifer to my Chloe and the Chavi Dunstan massive to this rock chick. To love you a thousand lifetimes wouldn't be enough. So why don't we just start with our forever? I love you. By taking these vows, you are undertaking a commitment to cherish and support each other faithfully throughout your lives together. The institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, by replying, I do, to the next question. Do you, Craig, take Natalie here present to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, loyal, and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. And do you, Natalie, take Craig here present to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, loyal, and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. I, Craig Watson, take thee, Natalie Ann Eaterson, to be my wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Natalie Ann Eaterson, do take thee, Craig Watson, to be my lawful wedded husband. I gave you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and as a lasting reminder of the love we share. Marriage is a journey. It is the best journey you will ever go on side by side, hand in hand with your best friend. There will be excitement, there will be adventures and it will only ever be enhanced by the love, the trust and the dedication that you share with each other. The good times will be embraced sweeter when shared difficult times so much easier when born by two. Continue to work to build a foundation that will support the lasting relationship of marriage being celebrated here today. May the promises that you've made to one another today be lived out for the rest of your lives together. Tomorrow can bring the greatest of joys. But it is today, the day that all begins. 
Craig and Natalie, you have both made the declarations and the vows required by law and have made solemn and binding promises to each other. So I ask all your family and all your friends here today, having witnessed this ceremony, to join in with myself and Amanda in wishing you all the success, but most importantly, all the happiness in the world. It is therefore my greatest pleasure to say you are now united as husband and wife and you may share your first marriage kiss. Oh, the <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. I've just, uh, I'm not a man of many words, but I have made a little speech. <laughs> Fair enough, Fair enough. Right, just to say good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this special occasion. Just to say how lovely and gorgeous the bride looks today. And she looks like a princess. And also the bridesmaids look so beautiful, but don't we all scrub up well? We are not just gaining a son-in-law, we're also gaining a lovely extended family. As a young girl brightened up, brightened up our lives, she never remembered to switch lights off or even shutting doors. After her, where my first doors, doors, come in use. Myself and Leslie are very proud of Nelly as what she has achieved in life. It took a lot of resilience as she studied through COVID and also a wonderful mother to her two children at the time, slash three, which obviously includes Craig. When we first met Craig, he turned up at the front door dressed as a morph. <laughs> and at Christmas, he rode a motorcycle dressed as Santa Claus. So he certainly made a good impression on our lives. Craig is a Newcastle supporter, which certainly helped. And he also is a member of the Dunstan Massive. We also know Craig is hard working and a great father to his three children. We all know Craig likes to laugh and he lives life to the full. To you both, it's worth bearing in mind that neither of you will be perfect together. Being the father of the bride today was made me so emotional and proud than a person could feel. And I know if Dave, the rave was here today, he would feel exactly the same. He may, he may not be here in person, but definitely be here in spirit. So please be upstanding for the happy couple. Here's to a lifetime of love, peace and happiness. Congratulations to the happy couple. May your love continue to grow deeper and stronger 
with each passing day. and Natalie. Uh, after what I can see has been said, it was a mad day yesterday. The washing machine flooding the kitchen, exhaust falling off me scrap of van, why not about that? Uh, the cake nearly getting toppled out on the way down the outside bank when someone pulled out in front of us. And that's just what I can remember, so it was a mad day. I want to just say how mint all the kiddies are looking. Is all scrub up well. Especially all the little lads and the tuxedos, like, well done. Oh, hey, hey. Next up is my lovely wife, new wife, Natalie. And I thought I'd do this one a little bit different, so I've wrote you a poem. Uh, two seconds, I'll have a drink for this one. So I make a start over a romantic tale when we first met, ship ready to sail. It was in the Tudor. A nice little place, I stole your seat, the look on your face. I remember your words, yeah, what you doing, mate? It was right at that moment I wanted a date. Oh. I challenged you up and got me phone on my pocket and asked, yeah, pet, where'd you live? Well, uh, I live in the Pentry Suite in the Rocket. Right there, I knew you were gold, and the rest is history, let it be told. My lovely Nat, you were a top bird, and I will love you forever. Let's have a good frisk and get old together. Could we all raise our glasses and make a nice toast? Won't we'll last the bella we all love the most. Ten Natalie. Oi, oi. That's it. Yeah, if I had to describe Craig, I'd be like, don't take anything. If you receive his person, he's going to offend you. 
Um, he doesn't take life seriously. He's not a serious person. He's funny. He's dark. He's a proper jack the lad. But he, care, he cares very deeply. And yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes. Mm, sometimes. You can eat sometimes, you know. I might sometimes. Let's fight you a single tear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'll squeeze that up for you. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> but yeah, Jack the lad, funny, one-liners. He's been bitten by the crook bat. Craig, mm-hmm. in a nutshell. Yeah, sound good, like, mint. <laughs> What's your last like, mint? Just like me, just like your first flag. Tell me, that yeah. you give it there. Mm. Makes you try and enjoy yourself. Oh. Hi, hi, men, as much as she's not, but she is like, she's like next level bird. She's like, oh, well, we didn't want to do that, but we'll, we'll want to do this. They want me to have a laugh like that every time that he wins, it costs us 80 quid. That was a thing once, wasn't it? I was. That, that actually it's gets, not even me that, that it costs actually so gets said at work. I'll be at work and they'll be like, I'll be like oh, well, that's the ring of the meal. Oh, how much is that going to cost you? Oh, what you want new? Oh. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> that is not even meant. I would say some bird likes likes her likes just a good time girl like. Aye. Aye. She's a good little wingman, aren't you? We just frisk it would. Sorry, but uh, as wing, far as I'm lady. concerned, I'm Batman and you're Robin. Aye, well I wear the face. Save me. Face. <laughs> <laughs> I drag you lan. Aye. Sound. That's nice to know. I'm sand, I'm a sound bird. Sound bird. <laughs>